Another reason why Paul and I are so bullish about recommending replacing your router at home by one with PFSense is not only you make your network more secure by segmenting your network, getting better uh, default for firewall rules, etc. But also you have the capability of inspecting your traffic by using the PS the PFSense packet capture feature. You get to it by going here on the diagnostic and selecting packet capture. Now you can specify which network segment you want to capture the packet from. My secure network is OPT, my IoT is LAN and one of course is the, the way going out. So I'm going to be doing this capture from my secure network. Here you can specify either IPv4, IPv6, both of them or just one of another. I'm only doing IPv4 so I want to keep this uh, short. Protocol, same thing, you can specify any for all the protocols or you can include one in particular or you can exclude that one. Say I want everything but ARP uh, traffic so you do it by selecting that one. I'm putting any here. Now in here is the current address of my laptop that is next to me uh, and that's what we're going to be doing the capture but there's a lot of flexibility. Let's say that you want to capture, you, you want everything but this particular uh, IP address. So you can precede that with an exclamation mark and that will exclude that one. You can put CDAR ranges by uh, uh, specifying the IP address with the CDAR range. You can actually see, let's say I want to see the traffic between this IP and that IP you can actually separate those two by a command that performs an AND. If you want to see the traffic of either this or that or that, any one of these is an OR condition and you do that by separating them with a pipe. So a lot of flexibility there. Here on the port, I'm leaving this in zero because I want to capture all the port. Let's say that you want only DNS traffic, you put here 53 and A53 for DNS over TLS and you only get that traffic. Packet length, in case that you want to limit the amount of bytes or every packets, I'm not doing that, so I'll keep that on zero. Count, you can either leave this on zero to do unlimited so it doesn't stop, or you can put the number of packets. So for example, if I were to get more than, uh, the minute I get 10,000 packets, the capture is going to automatically stop. Level of detail is really irrelevant for what we are doing because uh, this is if you were to look at the data in this type of view within PFSense. We are going to be using the free wire shark, so we are not going to be using that. So you can leave that the default to normal. We are not doing uh, DNS reverse lookup, so let me stop talking and start capturing. So I click here on the start button and I'm going to my laptop next to me and I'm going to go to the www.altoromutual.org and this is an HTTP only traffic so I'm in the page I'm going to click sign in I'm going to log in with Jay Smith as the user ID and I'm going to put the password and hit enter I'm login I'm going to stop the capture I want to keep this uh, very short now that I have this data, again, this is too harsh to look at it in here. What is much better to do is to click on the download button, save it into my download directory. I'm going to invoke the free Wireshark that I installed before. I want to do file open and I'm going to select that packet capture. It's right here. Now, if you, you can apply filters in here. I was playing with this before. So if I only want to see the DNS traffic, I put DNS and hit enter or click on that uh, arrow in there and you see the resolutions and these things are things that were happening on the background on my laptop. Uh, looks like it talks regularly to GitHub, and to Google, and to this and to that. Notice that I don't have the Altoro Mutual in here because I was testing this before and uh, this most likely went into the cache of the proxy that we also have in the PSN. There's a separate video that shows how we use Squid 
and we send the logs to Curator as well as the DNS logs, the DHCP logs, the firewall logs, all those to the free Curator CE as well. Uh, so that's what you don't actually see that. Uh, but if we go to, if we put the filter here as HTTP, hit enter, that's the HTTP traffic. And if we want to see, for example, the, we can do control F or file or edit a fine packet. And in here, we're going to be looking for a string. And I already did this before, so that's what is already there. And it's packet detail instead of packet list. And if we click here, fine, notice that it finds in this the actual J Smith and notice that the password is on the clear because this is HTTP and that's uh, so again this is not a meant to be a tutorial on PFSense we may do one later on but uh, this is a tool that once you learn it you're going to use it for very many years to understand better how a protocol works let's say that you are reproducing a particular attack and you want to see all the packets going on uh, Curator will alert you about some things and PFSense will send the net flows, but you don't have the entire payload. Well, with this, you can actually capture that, analyze it, and understand what is actually going on.